In the late 1800s, a German scientist named Heinrich Hertz conducted experiments with radio waves. His experiments showed that radio waves were reflected by metallic objects, being the beginning stages of radar. In the early 1900s, Hertz's principles were put into use by Christian Halsmeyer, a German inventor who first used it to make a ship detection device to prevent crashes and thick fog. Early radar systems were developed by using short pulses of radio energy, which were timed by an oscilloscope, or more simply known as a scope. The distance between the radio pulses and the scope could be determined, and the antenna could pick up a location. With these components, an exact location was known. In 1940, the term radar was given to this technology by the United States Signal Corps, meaning radio detection and ranging. Even before the Second World War had begun, eight countries worked in secrecy trying to perfect radar, but none of them came as close as the United Kingdom. At the beginning of the Second World War, the Germans had been able to take over the city of Paris and now set their sights on the British as well. They even began to threaten the British with the use of death rays. The British wanted to combat the threat with their own research into death rays. In 1934, a Scottish scientist named Robert Watson Watt was summoned to London. He had been conducting research about how radio waves could detect thunderstorms. The British government hoped that his research could be directed into the direction of creating death rays. But Robert Watson Watt had disagreed. He thought maybe instead of using his research to create death rays, that maybe it could help locate incoming enemy aircraft. On February 26, 1935, Watson Watt and his colleague Arnold Skip Wilkins had successfully tested their system with a test target 8 miles away. By 1936, the system was improved to pick up aircraft as far as 62 miles away, and by 1939, it could pick up as far as over 100 miles away. As well, in 1939, there were 19 radar stations along the British coast. From 1940 to about 1941, the Germans started a barrage of attacks on the United Kingdom now known as the Battle of Britain. The fighting was mostly in between the British Royal Air Force and the German Luftwaffe. The British radar systems could pick up German aircraft while they were still over France. Because the British had gained air superiority, Hitler had to cancel Operation Sea Lion, which was a planned ambush through air and sea. The British government had given Robert Watson Watt and his team a mansion called the Bodsey Manor to work in secrecy. When the Germans found out about their secret research lab, they tried to destroy it, but only in vain. The Bosley Manor had been bombed at least 12 times and even survived attacks by V-1 and V-2 rockets, but the mansion was completely infallible. For safety precautions, though, Watson Watt and his team relocated their research in Scotland. For his work and research that might have very well saved the United Kingdom, Robert Watson Watt was knighted and him and his team were paid very well, but his team actually gave him their pay. Afterwards, he moved to Canada but came back to his home country of Scotland before he passed away. Robert Watson Watt died in 1973 at the age of 81. To this very day, radar plays an important role in society. Radar is used in airplanes, ships, and even biological research. And there is also Robert Watson Watt's original purpose for the technology, to detect weather changes.